the new Hornady V match. The 100 grain ELD VT projectile. I'm gonna run these to 6.5 Creedmoor. Advertised velocity, 3,200 feet per second. We're gonna go ahead and test them out today through my Seekins, see what they do for some accuracy, run them across the old magneto speed. Probably even send one to do a gel block later. First thing we're going to test out is going to be some velocities on here. I'll shoot a couple of groups with the magneto speed on, get us a, a general idea of what these things are running. Um, the advertised speed of 3200, I don't know if we're going to get that. This is only a 21 inch barrel on this rifle, so I'm assuming we're going to be a little bit short. But being that that's kind of one of the, you know, key features of these VT styles of bullets is being lighter and being able to get that speed. So let's test these things, see what they got for standard deviation and see what we get for an average muzzle velocity here. I think we'll shoot the upper left hand target first here. Uh, 3,080 was the first shot. Three thousand seventy-one. So that's averaging out of those three anyway, about three thousand eighty-three with an SD of fourteen point two. I'm sure we'll shoot another group here, see what uh, kind of add to this. I'm sure that standard deviation might come down a little bit. Okay, it's cooled down a bit. We'll go ahead shoot a second group here. Do the upper right hand on this target. First group was looking pretty good. See if I can not mess it up this time. Or should I say not mess it up again. Might have been a little cheek heavy on that one. Pushed it a bit to the left. All right, that changed our average. Eh, not by much. 3,089 SD is still 14.8, so. We know about where it's running. I think the rest of them will go ahead, and just uh, put the suppressor cover back on and get rid of that Mirage. While I'm letting the barrel cool down on the rifle, we might just as well talk about these rounds a little bit, uh, particularly the BC on these things. So this being a 100 grain bullet, like I mentioned before, it's meant to get you a little bit more speed out of that. The front part of that projectile has got an open cavity in there, so you're lightening it up, but it still has the size of like the 120 grain ELDM. But unlike other 100 grain projectiles or like the 95 grain VMAX, uh, the G1BC on that is only, I believe, 0.365 on there or the 100 grain ELDM is uh, 0.385 on it, where this 100 grainer, uh, the advertised BC is 0.448. So that's a little more, or a little closer, I should say, to the 120 grain ELDM, which advertised 
uh, G1 BC is 0.486. So again, getting a little closer to this BC, but in that lighter projectile, and being made for you know shooting varmints, uh, raccoons, coyotes, which I bet you they would really wreak havoc on it. Uh, I'll be interested to see in a little bit what this thing will do uh, on the ballistics gel, but yeah, they. They really upped that BC number, which is going to help carry that speed down range. Let's take a look at this loaded projectile here. There is the 100 grain VT, and here is 120 grain ELDM. So you can actually see that VT is actually just a little bit longer protruding out of that case. Now that I got the suppressor cover on, now I'll try a five shot group with this and see what they do. I'll aim right at the top of the diamond there. Put that one kind of high and left. That one's actually right next to it. Must have been point of impact shift not having the magneto speed on there well they're sticking just a little bit and the last two weren't real good I pulled that <laughs> that one to the right Getting a little bit of heat distortion but the first three were okay I'm probably going to shoot a couple more groups off camera just to help speed this whole video up. That way it's not a half hour long of just, you know, demonstrating an ammunition. So we'll probably speed these next two groups up. Let's take a look at these groups here. So there's our very first group with the magneto speed on it. There's the second group. I kind of, I flicked that, that one I knew that I did. But point of aim, point of impact is actually about right on there, shooting sub MOA. Here is the first three, and then number four, or number four, number five, on the five shot group without the magneto speed on, just the suppressor. Group number four, that was looking pretty good. And then come over to group number five. So both of them, point of aim, point of impact, point of aim, point of impact, all the same. I would say that stuff definitely shoots sub MOA, especially if I had a, a heavier barreled uh, 6.5 Creedmoor rather than just this lightweight one. I'm betting these groups would probably tighten up even better. All right, time to place your bets. Will it make it all the way through the first one and into the second? Or like the V-Maxes, is it just going to explode into the first one? Now that the groups are done, let's go ahead and uh, I'll dump one into the gel block, see what happens. Let's go down and take a look at that. Let's take a look at these things. Once again, <laughs> what I'm using for high speed didn't catch the first one, so we might go ahead and shoot this second gel block again. But that really, really opened up fast and just barely made it into that second one, probably inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Let's roll this thing over here completely cracked the bottom of that gel block and there's from the front so I mean that literally didn't even go in I'd say not even 
half inch, three quarters of an inch, and it just came apart. So let's take a look at this second shot. Again, right off the bat, I mean, just immediate, immediate expansion through there. But this time, it didn't make it all the way through. This gel block's been used a couple times and might be, might be a little bit stiffer, possibly. Again, great, great expansion. Cracked the bottom, something fierce on there. And that bullet, we're gonna have to dig that thing out and take a look at that. Now that I take a little bit closer look, right there is the entrance from when this bullet went into the second one. What actually happened is we hit the first projectile with the second projectile and that's why it stopped. What are the chances of that? Let's see if I can't just dig out these two projectiles here. Cut out around them maybe. Pull that plug out of there. That way we can leave them intact. Oh, here it is. <laughs> well, they're not stuck together. That would have been cool. There's the one. And there is the other. Not much left of those. Maybe I'd go in and Maybe weigh them. See what, see what's left of that hundred grain. Can't be much. Thirty-one point seven. Thirty-one point six. Somewhere in there. Let's do the other one. And 43.4. Hopefully you enjoyed the video today. I figured I'd just make a quick one on these new projectiles coming out. Hopefully I'll get some for the six arc or maybe a couple other calibers, 22 calibers, get them loaded up and see what they'll do in some ballistics gel. I mean, it's always a good day when you get to shoot ballistics gel, but Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.